What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to WBE Week 6. This week we're going to be facing off versus Sierra Dawn and her uh, Toronto Maple Muse. I almost said something else, and I was like, wait, that isn't the name of the team. So yeah, uh, so this week was actually <laughs> kind of hectic. I had a lot of uh, stuff on my plate this week, some school, some uh, research, and uh, a lot of YouTube. So uh, I actually like slipped up a little bit and kind of forgot about WBE for like the entire first half of the week. And then I contacted Sierra and it took a little bit to uh, hear back, but um, it, it, was, it was mostly on me because I hadn't contacted earlier. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> this week's team is a little bit thrown together and it might have not been the play, but I'll go ahead and go over it. I'm recording this in post once more, so I kind of forgot a lot of things. So originally, this Charizard was actually going to be a Belly Drum Charizard uh, because we wanted to run some jank this week. And then last minute, I ended up swapping out this Charizard for last week's Charizard, uh, which is a Choice Scarf variant, uh, which would allow me to outspeed stuff like Cinderace to uh, go for the beat up on the Mudsdale. Because our team is very Mudsdale weak. There's only a couple of things that mess it up, and that would be uh, Galarian Weezing with Neutralizing Gas, stopping the stamina, or um, Trevenant and Blastoise in particular, which are really scary. So yeah, uh, this is going to be G-Max uh, Solar Power Charizard. Uh, it's just meant to either set up flames in the field or uh, hit stuff like Dragazolt with Scorching Sands if need be, um, or Max Quake, whatever. But yeah, it's mostly meant to enable Mudsdale and stop the Trevenant. Next up we have Choice Specs Manectric. It pairs really well next to uh, Mudsdale. The entire point of Manectric this week was to um, avoid redirection and one-shot Blastoise with uh, Specs <laughs> with the uh, Specs Discharge. Uh, next to Mudsdale wouldn't do anything. Flamethrower is great for catching Trevenant. Thunderbolt is a nice, or we actually switched that out last minute as well. That was another last minute change. I had to go pay five armor right order to give it rising voltage. Um, that's meant to, you know, just do a lot of damage if uh, Electric Train ends up going on the field because of the Dracozolt or I Dynamax my boy. It also protects Charizard and Slow King with Lightning Rod from Dracozolt. And it has Snarl to uh, just either give me a dark move to hit Manectric with, or to hit. Uh, Pokemon with or just snarl to lower damage output from special attackers like the Blastoise if it's in the back. Next up we have Assault Vest Mudsdale, honestly the MVP of the team like every single week. And uh, this week we're running another stamina <laughs> another stamina set. Uh, high horsepower, body press, rock slide, iron head. It's got Assault Vest so it can eat hits pretty well. Overall just a really solid pick. Uh, next up we have Kobaberry Hitmontop. This is meant to allow me to take a max airstream from Libero Max Cinderace. Uh, and if you're wondering why we're running Triple Kick, it's pretty much exclusively because I don't want to have to deal with any Focus Sashes. Uh, if I land a Triple Kick versus Focus Sash Bisharp, it will guarantee the one-shot. Uh, Mach Punch is great priority. Faint is good for breaking Protect on Pokemon. Uh, Wide Guard is good in case I want to go for a, a spread move like Discharge onto my Hitmontop. Uh, or if I want to block a Water Spout from a possible Scarf Blastoise. Next up we have a full Physical Defensive. Cobra Berry, Oblivious Slow King, good for setting up Trick Room, Scald, Yawn, a uh, bunch of nice support moves, and Flamethrower in case we end up having to face a Trevenant under Trick Room, it'll allow me to hit it for super effective. Granted, not that much damage because we only have base 100 and we're not doing too much because we have no investment. And finally, Togepi, uh, Eevee Light Togepi, always coming through. Follow me, Sunny Day, Charm, Light Screen, overall a really nice supportive set, meant to eat hits. I forget exactly what the spread does because once again we kind of threw it together. Uh, my apologies. I, I will. I'll try to take the the weeks a little bit more seriously uh, going forward because right now our record isn't amazing. We got pretty unlucky last week, so now we're at two three. Um, and, ho and hopefully I can pull back this week. I already know the outcome of this week uh, because I'm recording this in post, but I'm still going to say hopefully we can pull uh, pull back some points this week. And uh, uh, going forward, I'll take it a lot more seriously to uh, be able to you know prep. <laughs> prep a little bit more, um, like know my calcs and stuff, and yeah. But you know, life's been a little bit crazy. I'm sure you guys understand. I do have a life outside of YouTube. But yeah, thank you so much uh, for watching the video. Go ahead, leave a like uh, to support the channel. Pick up your Chicago Black Block merch. Join the Discord, turn on notifications, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, subscribe, guys. We're on the way to 15,000. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys in the battle. Okay, guys. So here we are. I'm I'm not feeling confident to be honest. Uh, this is a uh, pretty. I, like we we had to change a couple of things on the fly. We're running last week's Charizard because honestly, like the Zard we were gonna go with originally was really really janky, just not worth the risk. So we're back on Scarf Zard and Stamina Mudsdale. So hopefully it works out. Might be able to pull that off. And ooh, okay. So this is a pretty interesting team. No Blastoise means that my Trick Room is actually disgusting here. So, um, I can set a Trick Room for free. 
The only thing is I have no way of actually beating the uh, Trevenant under Trick Room, so I might try to go fast game one to see how that works out. It might be worth it. Um, yeah, I have to bring Charizard in the lead. What I'll do here is I'll bring Charizard, Togepi, and Mudsdale. And I think my last Pokemon... Maybe I don't go Trick Room at all. I think maybe I have to go with the... Um, I could go Slowking. Slowking does have Flamethrower for the Trevenant. And I guess Lake Game Trick Room wouldn't be too bad. Hmm. What do we have on Hitmontop? I don't think we have anything for Trevenant. We really don't. All right, no hit my top this game. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do our best here. It's it's a really scary uh, lead. So, Scarf Zard, Togepi on the lead, Mudsdale, and Slowking. Luckily, we do have a fire move on the Zard, but it's scary. It's a very scary move to click. All right, let me turn this down. I just realized my TV's at like max volume. Turn that down. Calm down, man. Calm down. By the way, repping the merch. Merch finally came in for me. It actually came in like a week ago, but I didn't have time to, uh, <laughs> I didn't have time to use it. Ooh, okay. I didn't have time to, like, turn on the webcam and stuff. Alright, so this is actually a pretty problematic lead, because it is neutralizing gas. Um, however, they probably are going to airstream here. I'd like to get rid of that thing as soon as possible. I could go for Scorching Sands into it, or even just max into Scorching Sands, and it wouldn't be awful. If I remove it, it'll make my job a lot easier. Because the stamina is very hard to use right now. Maybe I just remove that thing. It could be Assault Vest, which is scary. Or I could just set Wildfire. I'm going to set Wildfire because it seems to be useful. And I could also Charm. I'm actually going to Charm here in Wildfire, and that should do it. That should be fine. So we're going to G-Max, finally. After weeks of, like, almost never using GMAX Zard, we finally get to click it. Also, we're battling, like, last minute. Like, this battle is going on literally at 10 p.m. my time. <laughs> or 9 p.m. my time. 10 p.m. Uh, her time. So, uh, I am Scarf, and that might have revealed it for her. Oh, no, they don't. There's the Pyro Ball. I think we eat this. Oh, we eat it. If I get this charm off, I'm in such a good spot. Tell me the wildfire KOs. We do have a lot of special attack. No, but as long as they don't double into Togepi, I'm fine with this. There's the taunt. Oh, that's a little bit annoying. That's a little bit annoying. Okay. So we did reveal charm. What I'm going to do here is, I want to save that thing. I'll actually go ahead and uh, go for Max Quake. Or they shouldn't... Mm. I can't Max Quake safely. All Wildfire into Cinderace, expecting it to want to attack here. Um, and I can go Slowking pretty safely, I think. Slowking should eat anything from this char or from the Cinderace. Uh, it eats everything from the Weezing. And um, Wildfire into Cinderace. It's going to outspeed me, is the thing. Even though we're Scarf, the Scarf isn't active while we're Dynamaxed. So if the Cinderace Dynamaxes here, uh, we're actually not in a bad spot. Because they're probably going to go for Airstream and they're going to take a lot of damage. I'm actually really happy I set up the Wildfire right there. Get in the Slow King to eat whatever the Cinderace wants to go for. They don't Dynamax, they just... Okay. Oh, I completely forgot about Libero. My, my stupid face. My stupid face forgot about Libero. But actually, we're making... Oh, we got the crit. We're making some good leads here. Or some good gains on the... On the... On the, um, on the damage here, because... Cinderace should go down next turn if I target into it. What I'll actually do here is... Um, I can't max guard. I should just switch out. I'm going to go hard into the Mudsdale. And I need to keep Charizard around to beat Trevenant. And I'll actually just go ahead and scald, or I'll, yeah, I'll scald into the Cinderace. I need to keep Charizard around to beat Trevenant. That's the issue. So we'll end our Dynamax early here. Mudsteel's a pretty safe switch, because uh, they can't really touch it. They're stuck recharging. There's the taunt. We are oblivious, which is nice. 
Oh no, are we not oblivious? Do I have the wrong boy? I don't have the wrong boy. I know I don't have the wrong boy. Yeah, we're oblivious, so we can still... Why did it not activate? Let me check this thing. Oh, okay, oblivious just makes it shake it off immediately. But uh, we do have that active on the field. If the Trevenant comes in, I don't fear it too much, because I'm fine. Oh, hell yeah. There's the Trevenant. All right. Our ability is active. Um, I should be able to high horsepower here. And I can take anything I want from that thing. So what I'll do... Ooh, we're actually really, really weak to the Dragazult now. I could try to Trick Room. I could try. They're probably going to double into me. Hmm. I'm going to try to Trick Room. And just go for it. We should take whatever from the Trevenant. Um, but max on the uh, Dragazult's really scary because we're just going to drop. However, um, I think Mudsteel's fine, because what I can do is if they don't max Airstream, I can go for Overheat with my Charizard to one-shot the Trevenant, and then we should just win with Mudsteel if we play our cards right. So maybe the right play was to go into Togepi here, but I, I, was, I was really scared of the double. I don't think that both of my Pokemon dropped to this, because we have a lot of defense on, uh, on Mudsteel. As they max Wormwind. Okay. They may have doubled into us, which is a bit unfortunate, because if we don't get Trick Room up, that's a big issue. That's a that's a big tissue. <laughs> There's the Leech Seed. Okay. And we avoid. That's actually really good. Is that a crit? Because I can double into that next turn. That wasn't even a crit. That wasn't even a crit. I keep forgetting Trevenant's base speed. I have to double check. And they are still taking damage from the, from the things. Okay, we should be fine to uh, just high horsepower into this thing. Or even just switch out. Here's what I'll do. I'll actually switch out into Togepi to get the hit. Yeah, I'll switch out to Togepi to get the hit. And I'll actually just go ahead and um, go for the flamethrower onto the Trevenant for damage. I want to get in range where we, like, can't lose. And, like, with all this residual damage that's going on, we should be fine. I want to keep Mudsdale healthy. We have so much defense on this Slowking, so I'm really glad we did that. They aren't, like, Iron Ball or anything, so after this, I believe the Trevenant should drop. It's not... Ooh, that's bulky. Then again, we have, like, no investment. Let's see if they went for the Max Dragon. Max Wormwind, that's into the Slow King, that's fine. We just have to land one more high horsepower into this thing. There's the tr Oh no! Oh no! No, no, no! <laughs> Actually, that's probably fine. No, 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 that's fine. Because Charizard comes in and clicks uh, Overheat. And then Mudsdale wins. As long as we remove the Trevenant, we're fine. And we have two opportunities to remove the Trevenant. Because what I do is I follow me here and just click Overheat. If I miss an Overheat, I'm going to lose it. Let me follow me here. If I miss an Overheat, I'm going to absolutely lose it. Overheat the Trevenant. Come on, Charizard. I just need to land this, man. Land the Overheat. Do it for the black flock. Do it for the black flock, dude. <laughs> By the way, shirts are available in the, uh... Not in the description. Like, slightly above the description. This is their final turn of, uh... Tailwind. Or not Tailwind. Uh, Dynamax. So we should be fine. There's the follow me. Come on. Come on, man. Overheat. We land it, that should be a dead Trevenant, and that is most likely a win. Let's see if they Worm Winded. Because if they Worm Winded, I'll just follow me again and reset my uh, Charizard. There's the Lightning, that's fine. Because the combination of these two plus the residual damage should do it. 
And uh, Dracozol doesn't have much to hit Mudsdale, especially since we have, uh, especially since we have um, stamina. So in comes the Mudsdale. That was their final turn of Dynamax. You know, shout out Mudsdale. And we technically didn't reveal the Scarf. We technically still haven't revealed Scarf, which is really important. I, I don't think we revealed Scarf. Let me high horsepower. And uh, I'm forced to overheat again. But also, I didn't reveal Scorching Sands, so there's that. Land the overheat. The Dragon Claw shouldn't KO because of how bulky we are. There's the Bolt Beak. That's fine. Into the Zard. Unless they're Scarf. No, they showed Life Orb, right? No, they're Life Orb Cinderace. They might be Scarf on the Dracozol. Alright, that's game. So we managed to pick up game one, which is really, really good. Yeah, Charizard was super, super important to beating the Trevenant. Like, I had to keep that thing alive if I wanted to beat Trevenant, because Trevenant's so bulky, dude. Okay. Yeah, let's receive it. Let's receive the trainer card. And we'll play with the same rules. Alright. Hold up. I am recording, right? I just want to make sure. I always get nervous that I'm not recording. Alright, send in the Charizard on the lead again, I think. Because Charizard's so good on lead. It's so, so good on lead. And we haven't revealed stamina on Mudsdale either, I believe. Did we reveal stamina? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to go Charizard. Um, I don't think they're going to lead off Weezing this time. I feel like it's too scary for them. Let's do Charizard. Hit him on top. Maybe Charizard Togepi. Hmm. I'm concerned about the Town Flame as a thing. Togepi was so good that game, though. Um... Let's do it. Uh, Charizard Togepi, we'll just do the same thing as the first game, but we have to play super, super careful. If they don't end up leading off Talonflame or Weezing, I can just go for the beat up onto my Mudsdale, and that's probably going to be game. Because they don't have a way of breaking it. And Body Press is so strong at plus four, and however many times it goes off. So they're going off with a similar lead. However, they're deactivating their hustle, which I'm fine with. I could just go for Helping Hand, Max Quake. And that's actually not bad. Or I could just... Hear me out, guys. Hear me out. I could follow me. Go for Scorching Sands. Yeah, I'm going to do that, I think. I'm going to follow me and go for Scorching Sands. Um, and then next turn... I should be free to go for uh, Max Quake. Because if they're if they're Scarf, like I think, uh, that's really scary. We might have revealed Scarf versus this. And, I mean, Togepi probably lives this hit. They burn their Dynamax immediately, which is great. I don't think Togepi takes this, to be honest. I, I'm pretty I'm pretty certain Togepi doesn't take this, but if we can actually land a burn, if we get a burn on this thing, that might just be game. I very much enjoy getting a burn. Actually, no, it's not hustle boosted, so we should be fine as long. I mean, they're probably going to double. All right. Follow me. Still haven't revealed the Scarf, technically. It's so important. Come on, burn. Same chance as Scald. Same chance as Scald. Come on. No burn. Okay. We live that. Just barely. Uh, we might even take the Sludge Bomb if it's not that strong. And they are running uh, Max Rockfall. There's the Taunt. What I'll do here is I'll actually just get in Mudsdale. And um, I could double. Actually, Mudsdale doesn't take that hit very well. He really doesn't. Not without stamina. That's the big issue. Get in slow king. And 
and then Mudsdale on this slot, because he should go for another poison move. Hopefully we don't get poisoned. So I'm going to make the same... <laughs> I'm going to make a similar double. I think Scarf Charizard is going to be really important once this thing's Dynamax is over. If they're carrying Max Rockfall, Max Wormwind, and Max, um, and Max, uh, Lightning, that means that they either have Protect and, and are Scarfed, or they, um, don't have, <laughs> or no, they don't have Protect and they're Scarfed, or, uh, they do have Protect and that means they can't really touch the, um, they can't speed boost, is what I mean, because they haven't gone for Max Airstream yet. And if they go for Max Airstream, I'd be really, really scared. We should take this Max Rockfall relatively well. It's non-stab. Max Airstream, there it is. We take it really, really well, though. And I should be able to Max Quake soon. I'm kind of concerned about Will-O-Wisp, though. Sludge Bomb. Hey, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think I just... I think I just went with Mudsdale now. Max Quick does way too much for them to ignore. Hmm. I don't believe they're gonna Lightning. Last time they went for Max Wormwind, so I'll actually switch in the Togepi here. And I want to go for the raw high horsepower because it did so much last time. We'll go for it. I don't want to burn my Dynamax just yet because it might be useful in the end game. Because they have their, they have one turn of Dynamax left, and so far I've been doing a pretty decent job of stalling it out. Come on, Wormwind, Wormwind. There's the lightning. That's fine. Togepi! <laughs> no way! It ate it. No way. Okay. Uh, don't have Will O Wisp. They probably have Will O Wisp. They have Taunt, Sludge Bomb, Will-O-Wisp, I assume. Yeah, there it is. They do land it, but I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, because we're still doing disgusting damage. Yeah, that's still too much to ignore, dude. That's still too much to ignore. Their Dynamax is over, too, so... How do I play this? How do I play this? How do I play this? Um... I have to keep Charizard in the back. I have to remove this Drake as ult 100%. 100% have to remove Drake as ult if I want to win. Do you think they go Talonflame? I don't think they brought Talonflame. I can't switch in the Charizard either because that'd be a throw. Um, I'll, I'll, I won't Trick Room here. I'll actually just go for damage. And I think I have to Dynamax Mudsdale. And uh, remove this Drake as ult from the field. Because once Drake's ult's gone, like... It, it's, it becomes so much easier. I'm willing to max this uh, Mudsdale here. If Dracozolt gets off the field this turn, uh, due to Sand plus Max Quake, I think Max Quake might just do it. But the Sand should ensure it. Um, that should put me in a position where Scarf Zard cleans up with, like, Scorching Sands and Mudsdale is really, really scary. Especially since I can self-beat up and body press once this thing's off the field. Alright, they protect there. Let's see if they Bolt Beak. Yeah, that's fine. I have to get rid of this thing. Above all else, it's this thing that's the issue. And I'm hoping there's a Cinderace in the back, because it's got a Scorching Sands with its name on it. Hey, okay. This is doable. I can't self-beat up yet. Uh, which is annoying, because I would like to self-beat up. And if Trevenant's in the back, we actually deal with it really well. I'm, I might have to lock myself into Overheat to ensure I KO. There's the Libero. <laughs> Alright, um... I have to be real careful here, because I want to lock myself into Scorching Sands. I truly, truly do. But, it's not worth it. Giga Impact would mess me up. <sighs> Let me go for it. If I get this burn, we're in a good spot. Let me go for Max Quake into uh, this thing to secure it. So we finally reveal Scarf. Can I get a burn? Oh, we can't burn. It's Fire-type. 
I'm stupid. I'm big stupid. They bounce. Okay. Uh, that's fine. That's fine, actually. There's the sludge bomb. Okay. No poison. So, my next play, uh, I think is pretty clear. I have to go for a Max Quake into the, um... I have to go for Max Quake into the Cinderace. I think we take the bounce pretty well. So, I Scorching Sands that thing. Or actually, maybe I just double into it. Mm hmm. I really want to... I really want to Max Quake the Cinderace. I really do. I don't think this thing is Scorching Sands too well. I'll just Max Quake. Cinderace, yeah. Oh, it's Ground Resist. Okay. So, we got rid of that. If there is no Trevenant in the back, I think we win. But if there is, we're in trouble. Oh, we get the burn. <laughs> Not that it matters too much. There's the bounce. We should eat that. Yeah, don't paralyze. Come on, no Trevenant, no Trevenant, no Trevenant. There's the Sludge Bomb. If there's no Trevenant, I think we win. Thing's gone. Don't be Trevenant, dude. Be something I can deal with. <laughs> the Max Zard look, or worked really well game one for all that, you know, hazard damage. But don't be Trevenant, man. Don't be Trevenant. Ah, uh, I think that's it. Yep, okay. That's game. Trevenant just walls us. Okay, so that thing is really, really annoying on the lead. Let me go for high, uh, high horsepower to knock it out. I have, to, I have to keep my Zard healthy, dude. We get some info on their moveset, though. Leech Seed. Makes sense. So probably just full defense. Maybe no actual attack. Or no, they had Poltergeist. So they have Poltergeist, they have Leech Seed... I think they revealed... No, they revealed Trick Room, so... If they don't have an offensive grass move, that means that it's a lot easier to beat it with uh, Mudsdale if we're not burned or anything. I originally had Lash Out in this Mudsdale for the Trevenant, but it wasn't worth it. Alright, so we'll high horsepower into this thing. There's the Sludge Bomb. It's not going to be doing really anything. It's resisted. Yeah, there's the Horn Leech, so we actually do get to see the final move. And I believe after Seeds and Burn, we will go down here. Okay, so keep Charizard healthy. <laughs> Charizard is like the wave to beating this team. I think I know what my next lead's gonna be. I think I go Charizard Togepi again, like I have been every game. Uh, but I think I just Helping Hand to immediately remove the Weezing. Because once Weezing's down, this, this game gets so much easier. And also, since we're slower than the Cinderace, they don't get uh, Libero on their moves yet. So I'm probably going to D-Max Zard. I haven't brought Hitmon top yet. They're playing that Weezing really, really well. It's so good for disrupting. But I think, I think the max wildfire is going to be super important to winning. It just, it, like, it does so much damage over the course of the game. And Cinderace is really, really bad without Libero. So I gotta play careful. And if they don't lead Weezing, like I said, I can just go for my setup with my, um, my Mudsdale. I got tunnel vision here, guys. I got real tunnel vision. Do I bring Sloking? Sloking hasn't been amazing. Sloking hasn't been amazing. Maybe I give myself an extra option for beating um, Trevenant. Eh, nah, Sloking's still the best, because, like, what, what do we do with Hitmontop, really? And Manectric, there's nothing it, there's nothing for it to hit, uh, hit here, so I'm cool with that. Manectric was there specifically to catch Blastoise. But wow, Togepi's actually been putting in the work. <laughs> it's been putting in major work here. 
Oh wait, I don't have helping hand. I have follow me. Marcos, you big dumb stupid idiot. Big dumb stupid idiot. Why am I dumb? I think it's still fine. I think we play similarly to game one. Maybe a little bit more conservatively though. We also know that it's ground resist berry, so I shouldn't ever go for the Scorching Sands versus that thing. Alright. So a similar lead. They know I have potential to rock fall. I think I still just wildfire here and follow me. Yeah. Ooh, or maybe I could try to go for sunny day, but it's not worth the risk. It really isn't. I, I get sunny day off scot-free every single time. Or not sunny day, I get follow me off scot-free every single time. And Togepi eats all these hits, especially when that thing doesn't have Hustle. Kind of hoping they burn their Dynamax immediately, it'd be really helpful. And I might end my Dynamax early on Zard again to uh, keep it around for Trevenant. Alright, there's the Dynamax, I'm fine with that. Hopefully they burn it on Rockfall. Did my... Okay, no. Or I thought my power just went out. I'm like, no, not in the middle of the match. That was my lights. My heart just stopped. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I'll crit here. That'd be epic. No protect, so we get the wildfire off. That's going to be really, really important to win. Can I get a higher roll? Okay, that's fine. Max Lightning, we should eat that. Oh yeah, we eat that real well. There's a Sludge Bomb. know what I have to do, but I don't know if I'm strong enough. <laughs> How many times am I going to say that? Alright, uh, let me send in the Slow King here. And I'm actually just going to go hard into Mudsdale. We don't take that, that Max Lightning very well. We really don't. Um... I'm just gonna Scald to get rid of that thing. They should probably always max Lightning Charizard. Because the Slow King just isn't safe, and if we catch the max Lightning on, on the Mudsdale, we're in a good spot. Max Rockfall, that's fine. That's fine, we're gonna eat that up like Reese's Puffs. Eat it up like Reese's Puffs. And Weezing's gone now, so we can start going for Beat Up. Sludge Bomb. Don't poison. Oh, okay, good. Ooh, I was really concerned about that. I really was. Super, super concerned. Um, they can't one-shot us with their Trevenant. And we take every hit with, um, with Mudsdale here. They shouldn't max Airstream, I think. They're probably going to go for a dark move with their uh, Cinderace. I would go for a dark move with their Cinderace if I was them, so I'm going to body press. And... Do I... Mm, 
think I have to high horsepower for damage. And I'm gonna attempt to Scald Burn on the Cinderace. Maybe I just double into... nah. Nah, that's the play. They might double into the, um... Into the, uh, Slow King, but they can't knock it out without Max Lightning, and Cinderace just feeds us, really. Giga Impact. Slow King should definitely take that if they doubled. Oh my god, they knocked out... <laughs> they knocked out my child. We might have lost. Max Wormwind. This is really close. This is getting really close. Way too close for comfort, to be honest. They do have to recharge this turn. If we get this burn, I'll be real happy. No burn. Alright. Um, it will drop to the next one, though. But I don't know if... Um, I don't know if Drigazult's within Scorching Sands range. I'm really not certain. And I also don't want to lock myself into Overheat. This is a scary play. I don't want to lock myself into Scorching Sands. Um... Kinda have to. Kinda have to. Alright, well, Scorching Sands, I'm 90% certain they're, um... of their item on the Drakazult. And Scald will KO this thing. So will Flamethrower, though, but they can't switch out. KO Scorching Sands. KO. Oh, that's not KOing. Please miss. Please miss. Please miss. They miss! They missed! It's not over yet. Get the crit. And I stole a Flamethrower. Still a flamethrower. Alright. Kinda wish that dropped that turn, because it would have been really nice to double in double into the uh the boy this turn. Yeah, there it is. Alright, um we're probably gonna get knocked out. I always have to scorching sands this thing. And I'm going to attempt a flamethrower. Because any amount of damage is really useful. If they leech seed, it's going to be really annoying. I need the burn. And a lot of crits. <laughs> Horn leech. I need them to miss, like, every single Leech Seed if I want to win. They're still burning up, though, right? No, they're not. Okay, well, that's probably game. Because <laughs> Poltergeist hurts. I have to burn them if I want to win. 100% have to burn, and they're also Barry. No burn. There's the Leech Seed. I think they win. <sighs> Dang it. Like I said, going into this match, I wasn't too confident. We had to switch out the Charizard last minute, but it seems that Scarf Zard was actually the play. Funny enough. Yeah, but I couldn't have afforded to lock myself into Overheat there. Alright, we'll Scorching Sands again. Accept our fate. There's the burn. Not that it matters. It'd be really cool if you could remove my items somehow. So we're gonna take the long, slow death here. Alright. If only. If only I could click it.
Here's the Horn Leech. I want to forfeit, but uh, for the sake of like actually correctly getting stats, uh, we've been instructed like if you're in a position where you're gonna forfeit, and like there's no like you could play it out just without revealing any new information, or if it's like a game three situation, it's fine. Just go ahead and keep playing. So, yeah, how do I keep you guys entertained? Um, Y'all ever drink LaCroix? I like LaCroix. I'm a LaCroix stan. Some people stan K-pop. Uh, K-pop stars. Some people stan uh, movie stars. Some people stan Pokemon. I stan LaCroix. I think LaCroix is a phenomenal drink. They make an amazing product. Uh, sponsor me. <laughs> sponsor me, LaCroix, please. I believe this is the last turn. We should drop. Is that a crit? No. <laughs> Ooh, not yet. That was a crit, though. <laughs> yeah, so an interesting situation. If I wasn't Scarf, I would have gotten outsped by the Dracozult since it was Scarf, I believe. And if I was Scarf, which is the situation we're in, I wasn't in a position where I could actually do anything. So we'll go for it again, and this should be the last turn. Incredible. Incredible read. <laughs> Alright. So that's going to be game. Good game to Sierra Dawn. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to her channel. Uh, it'll be linked in the description down below. Leave a like in this video if you enjoyed. Uh, pick up your Chicago Black Flock merch. We're like the Chicago Cubs. Everybody loves us, but we never win. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for coming out to the battle, uh, and also I would have a post-game call with Sierra, but unfortunately I have some plans tonight, and this is a very last minute uh, battle, so uh, we don't really have time tonight, but yeah, thank you so much, I will see you guys in the next one, bye.